On the 2nd of August 2023, MTN Nigeria was hit by a cyber attack that lasted nearly 8 hours. This was one of the biggest DDoS attacks ever recorded against a private company in West Africa. And this event was claimed by the activist group Anonymous Sudan. It came just days after similar attacks in Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda. A wave that had already taken down public services banks and mobile money services across East Africa. Now in case you are wondering what's a DDoS attack? A DDoS attack is like flooding a building with fake visitors until the real ones can't get in. And this was what MTN experienced, a storm of fake traffic from compromised devices worldwide which was meant to crash their voice and data networks. Now thankfully MTN saw early warning signs and they quickly activated their security system. Now MTN did not share all the details but here's how this usually works. Telecoms usually use a layered defense with tools that watch network 247 and with the help of AI they are able to spot any unusual activities like a sudden surge in data. Now once they detect a threat they usually scale up their capacity to stop the search. But here's the part most people miss. Many of the devices used in these attacks were not owned by the hackers. According to Gideon Adekile, MTN's general manager for information security, many people do not know about internet hygiene. Their devices usually get compromised and are used in attacks such as this. According to cybersecurity experts, these attacks are usually politically or ideologically motivated, meaning it's designed to extort or disrupt or even pass a message across, usually with critical national infrastructure as the target. However, the bottom line still remains. In a world where telecoms literally keeps everything connected, staying ahead of attacks like this requires more than luck. It takes preparation, teamwork, and really investment in cybersecurity.